Hey everybody. Um, today I'm going to show you something cool you can do with your desktop background in OS X. Uh, this is all. This also works with Tiger as well. Uh, I'm not sure whether it works with Panther if you go that far back, but uh, it works with Leopard, which is what most people are working with. So, hope this helps you guys out. What I'm talking about is making a desktop slideshow. Um, most people know this, but just in case, it's good to go through it. Um, what you're going to have to do is take all the pictures you want to put in the aforementioned slideshow and put them in a folder. Like right here on my desktop, I have desktop slideshow 3. I've done this countless times, so I did 3 there just for my own reference. <clears throat> so, we're going to go to System Preferences. Click on System Preferences, then go to Desktop and Screensaver. Now, Scroll on down to the bottom here, and it gives you and it says the option of folders. Um, in case you guys haven't done this before, uh, you won't have a folder. So what you're gonna have to do is press the little add button there, and right over there it gives me the option to where I want to select the folder from. If you you saved on the desktop, it'll appear on the desktop applications. Probably not in there. Uh, user movies music. It'll probably be in here in your pictures. Uh, just for your reference, I'll re add desktop slideshow 3. Now, there you go. Nah. There you go. We'll just click on that. See, it gives me all the pictures. Now, it gives you the option of change picture. Click on change picture. And now we have a slideshow that will run every five seconds. Now you can change the interval in which it changes pictures um, when logging in, when waking from sleep, and so on and so forth. Uh, just for the sake of argument this time, and to make sure you guys get an example of how it's working, I'm sure you can see in the background here, um, I'm going to put it to every five seconds. Every minute is how I usually put it, just so it's changing often but not too often. Now one thing I do suggest about this is selecting random picture. Unless you guys are going for an effect in which you've ordered the picture specifically, <clears throat> uh, do not go with a select order. Just because after a while, if you are keeping this for a long term, like, for, well, for me, I change desktop backgrounds very frequently. So long term for me means a week. <clears throat> if you keep in a select order, you'll get very bored of that very quickly. So, random is really your best friend here. Uh, now as a bonus, I'm going to show you guys something else that you can do with your desktop background. And this will come in really handy for people who have a really nice screensaver, or a screensaver that they're very fond of. Uh, I'll just go right here, activate the hotkey, show you, my, show you guys my screensaver. By, design, by a designer called Pixel Breaker. Now, this is actually a widget you can download directly from Apple called the Wall Saver. Now, we're going to start up the Wall Saver. Right now, I had it set to use a Spectrum screensaver. So, as you can see right now, it's changing. Then again, no one really likes a Spectrum screensaver, so let's stop that. Go to Info. Then we're going to select my default. Now, if the screensaver you're choosing is already the one that's in use, then excuse me, sorry, Paul. It, excuse that, just got a phone call. Um, if the screensaver that you are already using is the one you want to use in wall saver, then you're going to have to click default. Press done and go to wall saver. And there you have it. Pretty cool. Um, you can get this from apple.com downloads Mac OS X. I'll leave uh, a link in the show notes. And uh, that's it. Hope I help you guys out some. Um, the desktop screensaver well, the desktop slideshow and screensaver is not something that uh, 
most Windows users have. It's certainly not built into the operating system. So if you have any friends that are PC users and you want to impress them with uh, one of the many perks of having a Mac, uh, it's definitely one of the ways to go. So enjoy, guys. Have a good day.